scrappy friends welcome back to my channel this is a layout for confessions of a paper addict and this cut file is called in the garden which is like a cluster of leaves what I did is repeat it twice on two different colored green cardstock or pattern papers so that I have the variety when I layer it then I went to town on some mixed media here and I'm using basil marshmallow cardstock which if you haven't found it or used it go to Joann's it is the thickest cardstock ever. I don't even apply gesso unless I wanted more movement with my media or mediums. <laughs> so here I'm just using Shimmer's Egg Nog. I have citrus lemonade or squeeze lemonade from Distress. I have butter from Heidi Swap. And then right now I am doing Olive Branch from Shimmer's as well and letting that all dry. Now if you use gesso, I think the colors would just would have been able to move a little bit more than getting absorbed into the paper, but the paper gets minimal amount of warping, which is why I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I am doubling up the cut file on the left and right side like bookends for this layout and I love the bushel of leaves. Now I live in South Florida so we don't have a true fall season so it was good to kind of play around with photos that I could find that I've taken a Valentina on our nature walks and so I'm using the insides of the one that's underneath compared to the darker one so I wanted the high contrast for kind of the clustering that I have. And once I kind of arrange it right now, I'll just take my fine line bottle and then I just glue it into place with little dollops of glue um, underneath. And like like I said, like so just like that, I was like, you know what, that kind of looked perfect. <laughs> and I did audition it with kind of having it be situated up and down and then having a landscape photo in my um, layout, but I went with the vertical and I love the way it came out. These wood veneers that have words on it, this is from an old Heidi Swap pack back in the day. This is just sitting in my stash. And the best day ever worked out perfectly to kind of overlap the photo there. Um, and I do, surprise, surprise, leave it as wood veneer because if you know anything, if you know anything I was saying is that I normally don't like anything wood veneer, meaning the wood. I'm not like a natural um, loving scrapbooker, nor do I like any wood grain scrapbooking papers. It is not my go-to. So usually I would be coloring this, painting this, <laughs> glittering it. Um, but for this layout with this cut file and the photo, it worked out perfectly. And you'll also see some other goodies I pull out that I normally wouldn't use just because, again, I'm not a beige brown <laughs> wood uh you know, embellishment person. It's just not my favorite. So I'm taking my photo and using my corner rounder and I'm going to be matting it on some pattern paper and popping it up on fun foam. And then I'm looking at the wood veneer and I'm realizing that the wood veneer on like the right side of the words has to have some fun foam too. So that's the same layer as my photo or else I'm going to have some wobbliness going on there and we can't have that so I take the time to kind of as you see put little pieces behind some of the letters and then use my fine liner which has scotch quick dry glue in it to finish it up to <laughs> glue it down I mean and so from here um, I started thinking about where I'm going to put my journaling which does go below my photo and no to self I did add my journaling with a stabilo fine liner but then I go in afterwards and <laughs> add more of eggnog from shimmers to the top and bottom of my photo just because I didn't like having the white space in between it be so white. So I added more shimmer paint on it, which then messes up my journaling and it looks all dodgy <laughs> in the end, but it's okay, you can still read what it says. So you don't see me spray the paint, but this is where I say I bust out some goodies. These are some old wood veneer hearts from Spiegel Mom Scraps and some cork butterflies. I would never use these. I have them still in my stash. Again, it's just a natural thing that I just don't use. But here's my gorgeous layout. I love the wood uh, veneer um, elements and the cork butterflies. They're just gorgeous. Thank you for joining me. Till next time. Bye.